So, uh, where do you guys think we're going today? We've, uh, been in the submarine for a while now, but, uh, still won't tell us where we're going, so, any ideas? Wherever we're going, I'm still gonna kick your butt, Loosemanberg. <laughs> I hope we're going to the Galapagos so I can meet some of my turtle bros. Dude, that would be awesome! How are those guys still here? Well, we've been kind of on a winning streak, and every time we have lost, they've never been a priority, so, uh, I guess that answers that. Uh, why do I have to be on the same team as two hippies? Hey, at least you're not on the same team as that. Lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrae. Members of each of these groups will compete to see who will win and who will swim. This is the ultimate splashdown. Welcome, my little fishies, to your challenge. We are on the lovely coasts of Antarctica. And for today's challenge, it's simple. You must photograph a live colossal squid. Uh, first time to get the picture wins, and basically here's how it's going to work. Some of you will go in the water, some of you will stay on land where you will listen to radio in case one of them calls in uh, is being attacked by something. Also, that's how the picture will get sent, as the radios are also two-way picture senders or something like that. I don't know. I don't speak technology. Anyway, get going, fishies. <laughs> oh boy, I love Antarctica. It's full of well-dressed birds like Manguin, except I can actually pet them without being screamed at. If you touch Manguin again, Manguin will rip your lure out and use it as a light bulb! Ah, great, more giant squid. Well, Paprick, how about you and me join Loosemanberg and the dolphin in the water? And the rest of you, you, you be on land. I don't think Serana can go in the water at the moment because, uh... Ugh, this is demeaning! <laughs> Little fishing tank, that's hilarious. <laughs> Super hilarious, I know. Wait a minute. I know that voice. It can't be. Oh, but it is. Hello, Pusa. Long time no see. Only haven't seen you in the years. Oh, how, how have things been going? Well, after the project shut down, I worked at the Betamax store for 20 years, but then the owner realized that no one uses Betamax anymore. So he kicked me out. Around that time, the Union had collapsed anyway, so I decided to explore the world. And I came to Antarctica to explore my roots, since I am a leopard seal after all. Uh, yeah. Hope sweet home. Anyway, I've mostly been here just, uh, relaxing most days or working out, you know. I, I live kind of a slow life. What have you been up to? Um, excuse me? Who is this? Oh, Octoward. This is my old partner from, uh, the early SEAL training program when I was in the military. Me and him were the only survivors. <laughs> anyway, only this is my current partner, Octoward. We hunt for monsters together and stuff like that. That little squid is your partner? <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> a seal and a squid working together to find the monsters. Well, at least you always know that you once had the supreme partner, which was me, for I am a leopard seal. <laughs> that is kind of funny. 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 You know what? Fine, I see how it is. See if I care. Octoward, wait! No, no, no! Octoward, wait! I didn't mean it like that! I was laughing at the fact we used to be partners! Oh, boy. Alright, dude. We're in the deep. I got my heating patch since I'm a reptile. Now I just gotta find the big calamari guy, or whatever they're called. You know what? The hippies are right. Oh, Garcon, if we work together, we can find the colossal squid. Luckily, I'm a shark, so I have a great sense of smell. I just need to sniff out calamari, and bada-bing, bada-boom, we'll be done here. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, Loosemanberg. Don't forget, the squid guy's also down here. And there are other squid besides colossal squid, so who knows if that's what you'll be sniffing out. <laughs> uh, laugh with me, Dora. <laughs> yeah. He, he liked him better as a partner than me. He liked him better than me. I'm just a scrawny squid. He's a buff leopard seal. How can I compete with that? Hey, Octoward, how's it going? Not now, Batbrick. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, uh, do you know how to find Colossal Squid? No. Oh, okay. Hey, let's ask those guys. Hey, you two, over here. Can, can I ask you a question? 
Oh, what do you want, you stupid tourist? Can't you see? We are in the middle, practicing a swimming lesson. Ah, you guys are the ice fish, I remember you. Oh man, you're like the best part of... something, I forget. Ah, uh, uh, anyway, you guys were funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are so funny. Uh, especially that part where you got caught on fire. <laughs> oh man, that was... That was, that was pretty funny. You, you guys really should have won, but uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, we're looking for a colossal squid. Have you seen any? Because uh, you guys seem like you're from around these parts. So do you know where you can find a colossal squid? Well, of course. I saw colossal squids the other day. They're not that hard to find down here. All you got to do is... Wait just a minute, Doc. Do not tell them anything. They only see us as a joke. We are not the jock! We are the best fish! We are the best competitors this show has ever had! And we should have had the money! And you think we are just a jock? We have talked about these! You need to control your temper better! Remember what the therapist said before you threw him against the ice cave? Oof. You're right. Okay. Alright. I'm better. Now, you slap me. No, I slap you. No, you slap me for slapping you. No, I slap you for slapping me. No, you slap me for slapping you. I want to do some slapping! Did you just slap me? Well, you were slapping him. Oh, no, 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 no. We ice fish. We slap each other. That is how we apologize. That was unwarranted aggression. And now, you die. Ah, oh, look what you did, bat brick. And you, you're a witness. In ice fish society, witnesses are just as bad as the criminal. What? That is a messed up legal system. We do not care. Now, prepare for the most unpleasant slapping of your life. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, does anyone else hear that? It sounds kind of like slapping, but yeah, whatever. Orson, look! Mm -hmm. Wow, a blue whale. Uh, hey, mister, have you seen a colossal... Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? We saw him first, so we get to ask him. <clears throat> hey, Jumbo, you, yeah, I'm talking to you. You better tell us where the colossal squid is, you pathetic waste of life, or I will personally see to it that I will get a big pod and we will and we will beat you to death. You got it, shrimp? Orson, what was that for? Oh, calm down. These guys are gentle giants. You can insult them all you want and they won't lift a finger. Or flipper, I guess. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Listen, shrimp, you're a pathetic excuse of a whale. Now get out of my way, or I will personally see to it that you will end up in someone else's dog food. You got it, shrimp? Uh, oh boy, this does, uh, uh, hey, uh, hey, did I call you shrimp? Uh, what I meant to say was, uh, okay, I got nothing. Oh boy. Guys, 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 Orson just angered a blue whale, now he's taking it out on all of us. Ow! I'm not the fluke, not the fluke! Ow! Well, I'd love to help, but I'm stuck in the middle of a tank. Ugh, send Gerald. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be there for a while. Uh, hey, everyone knows that if you're attacked by a whale, just look him right in the eye and stand your ground. That's gorillas, you stupid excuse of a light bulb. Wait a minute. Rocky? Is that you? Randy! You! Bird, how many times have I told you? Never call me Rocky again. That bird is dead. And Manguin is Manguin now! Rocky, it's been years. You gotta let it go. I know it was hard, but... But... You know, stuff like this happens. It's it's just nature. Shut up! Manguin doesn't need this! Manguin's going on a walk! Nobody follow Manguin! Hey, hey Mr. Wildress Bird, uh, why, why are you calling Manguin ro Rocky? A and what happened to him? Uh, a few years back, Rocky was actually a pretty nice guy. But, one breeding season, uh, he, uh, well, his son was eaten by skuas. Tried to stop him, but, uh, there were too many of them. And, uh, later that same day, his mate was eaten by an orca. Yeah. So, uh, ever since then, he's been incredibly distant from everyone. Eventually, he, uh, developed a bit of a temper and, uh, started prioritizing, uh, well, his own, uh, strength over everything else, leading to the broken bird you see today.
Oh, no. Oh, that's just sad. Oh, thank you, Mr. Weldress Bird. Eh, no problem. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go see what the Emperors are ranting about. All right, men. The Penguin Eater usually comes around here sometime at dawn. So tomorrow, we strike with all the force of a Penguin Army! Who's with me? Yeah! Mush, Jamma Fish, you two sound like the only ones still active. Uh, have you any clue? Uh, we found some good seaweed, but that's about it. Ah, that's just great. <sighs> well, hopefully Orson will get out of a situation soon so we could possibly win. I don't know. Well, dude, I don't think we're gonna get there. Uh, we're never gonna find that colossal squid. Colossal squid, you say? Oh. My. Gosh. Hello, boys. Couldn't help it over here that you are looking for a colossal squid. Well, luckily for you, I know where one lives. Just listen to me and you'll be there in no time. Uh, who are you, dude? Dude, that's King Leo. He's the one who brought the Age of Enlightenment to jellyfish and made it so that we're not just stupid animals anymore. Thank you, sir. We are deeply in debt to you. Just please tell us where we can find the colossal squid. Have we had enough yet? Huh? Huh? Who's a shrimp now? Huh? Huh? What'd you say, little tuna fish? Oh, I have anger issues? Oh, yeah, of course I do. What do you think I'm doing here? Well, you know, they, they called me shrimp, and... Oh my gosh, I really am just beating them up for no reason, aren't I? Oh, thank you, tuna fish. You made me see what I was doing wrong. I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I think I'll go now. Oh, my dorsal fin hurts. Meanwhile... And I'm telling you, you don't respect me. I respect you plenty. You don't respect me. No, I think you respect me more than I respect you. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah, I do. Well, guess what? I respect you too. And now back to the commercial break. Hey, hey, can we get a picture of you? Sure, why not? Guys, 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 we got the picture. Yay, we win again. Huh, what do you know? Guess we didn't need to do anything after all. Huh, yeah. I guess this is what victory fight cheating feels like. Kind of feels hollow, honestly. Yeah, let's not do it again. Later that night. Well, 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 Atlantic Aces. Looks like today was not your day. I thought those guys were gentle giants. Well, today was pretty close with votes. A lot of you guys have reason to get voted off. But, as always, if I call your name, you're safe. Lamy, Angie, Manguin. Octowood, Sarana, Larson, and the last name I'm gonna call out tonight is... Gerald. Wait, who voted for me? Why am I out? No offense, Blabrick, but, uh, we kinda just grew tired of your stupidity. And no offense. Well, I mean it with offense, but no one else did, I'm sure of it. Blabrick, the Ring of Fire, is hungry. Well, at least I'll be a floofa gym. AGAIN! Ah, never gets old. Later again? Hey, Octoward, are you still mad at me? I, I didn't mean what I meant back there. I, I was... Look, I was kind of caught up in the moment of meeting an old friend and... Look, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I'm sure you're sorry. Why don't you just go running back to Ani or whatever his name is? Because you don't need me anymore. I'm just a scrawny squid! Who needs you, anyway? Fuck the word! Wait! Ugh. Oh, no. Oof. Things are not looking good for this friendship. Well, everybody, find out what happens to these two next time on... The Ultimate Splashdown! See you then.